This topic is an introduction to solving a linear equation with a variable on each side. So we are going to solve for v here. We have 18 minus 2v equals 4v. We, we do have like terms. 2v and 4v are like terms. They're the same variable, but they're on opposite sides. And I want my variables on one side, and I want my constants, that meaning our whole numbers or fractions or, uh, or decimals, all on the other side. So variables on one side, constants on the other side. To do that, I'm going to add 2v to both sides because what that will do is it will cancel out the v's over here. If I have subtracting 2v and adding 2v, I end up with nothing. And then on the left side, all I'll have left is just 18. And on the right-hand side, I'll have 4v plus 2v, which is 6v. Now I can solve it just like I have with when I have the variables on one side. I'm dividing by 6 because 6v is the same thing as 6 times v. I've got to do that to both sides. Then I'm left with v on the right side, 18 divided by 6, which is 3 on the left side. Just like before, I'm going to substitute the value of my variable in the original equation and check to make sure everything's correct. So we have 18 minus 2 times 3, which is 6. And on the right-hand side, we have 4 times 3, which is 12. 18 minus 6 equals 12. So I've confirmed that v equals 3. In this example, we have 2v equals 25 minus 3v. And it doesn't really matter which side you put the variables on, which side you put the constants on. Um, I usually look for whichever one just stands out to me. So what stands out to me is just adding a 3v right here. And then I'm going to add a 3v over here. I prefer to avoid using negative numbers whenever possible. So on the right side, the v's are going to cancel out. They'll just be a 25. And on the left-hand side, 2v plus 3v equals 5v. We're going to divide by 5 on both sides. Then I'll be just have uh, 1v on the left. 25 divided by 5 is 5 on the right. Going back to my original equation, substituting 5 for the variable, I have 10 equals 25 minus 3 times 5 is 15. And 25 minus 15 does equal 10, so v equals 5. Another example, we have 9w plus 16 equals 13w. I think I'm going to subtract the 9w from the left and the right. Then I'll have 16 on the left, and 13 minus 9 is 4w on the right. Divide by 4 on both sides, and I'm left with 1w on the right. 16 divided by 4 is 4 on the left. Substitute. We have 13 times 4. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 plus 16 is 52. And 13 times 4, we can confirm, is 52. So we have checked w equals 4. One last example, 6u equals u plus 10. I'm going to subtract a u from both sides. Then I'm left with 10 on the right. 6u minus 1u is 5u on the left. Divide both sides by 5. And I'm left with 1u equals 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Substitute 6 times 2 equals 2 plus 10. 6 times 2 is 12. 2 plus 10 is 12. So u equals 2.